can't stop crying. I don't know why. This is not healthy. I've been crying almost every single day now. It's so bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I'm like getting depressed. My head hurts from crying. <sighs> this is a Zoe we all know. This is the Zoe not many people know. They are the exact same person, but one almost gets forgotten or hidden away. This is a journal for her. I'm really stuck right now. This has been a video I put off making for almost a year and I'm not going to apologize to anyone because I needed the fresh wound to at least turn into a scab to start talking about it. I am such an emotional wreck. Oh boy, where do we even start? I don't I don't even know where to begin. Like this is going to be kind of a long story. I don't know why, it just makes me want to like cry and makes me think that my life is so meaningless right now. Meaningless right now. Meaningless right now. Have you ever experienced a stage in your life where one thing just falls apart after another? You keep on telling yourself that it will get better soon, but your hopes keep on getting crushed by bad news, rejection, and pain. This whole year has been, well, interesting. There were amazing moments that I felt like I was living my dream life, and moments I was living in a nightmare. I'm sorry, Zoe, unfortunately, we just can't, we can't take the risk. Mm -hmm. There were these moments I felt super loved, supported, and connected, and moments I felt cut off, that no one could relate to me, that no one cared about me, that I was all alone. There were moments I felt refreshed and serene, and there were moments I felt anxious, useless, and behind on everything. There were moments of betrayal, rejection, defeat. There were moments of heartbreak, despair, and thinking, I'll die alone. There were moments I let others down. There were moments I let myself down. There were moments I tried running away from the problems, trying to change my identity, trying to cut the past off, trying to move on. There were moments when the pain from the past crept back and engulfed me. I do stress eat sometimes whenever I feel I think stress, like the I stigma boom. around like nice. depression or like mental health issues makes it even worse and like it stresses it, uh, at least it stressed me out more to think that I could potentially like be depressed and I have like anxiety issues. Holy crap, like am I depressed? Like am I depressed? Is my like, life going to derail and then go down like, like a black depressed. hole or something like, like that? Something like that. I think a lot of anxiety and depression is that wisdom inside of us trying to get us to really pay attention to what's going on. No one is coming to save you. You need to save yourself. Okay, human now. You can do stuff. You can do like a cute stuff or whatever, yeah. Journal one, losing your dream. It just feels really unreal to me how I am finally making my creative passions into like a full-time career. The more you have high hopes for something, the more crushed you can feel <laughs> when that's something you almost had. Seriously, like a dream come true. Fell through all of a sudden. This happens when you thought you met the one. This happens when you thought that perfect opportunity was meant for you. I can do it. Okay. Okay, so. Are you quitting? I am. A full year before quitting my job at Big Four, I already knew it wasn't for me. Working felt like self-betrayal. I felt like I was selling my time and soul for something I didn't even care about. 
I was like, why am I crying half the time at work? Like, th this is like not making sense to me. You have a really good um, system inside of you that knows what's good for you and what's not good for you. And it's telling you this isn't good for you. I almost cried in a meeting. Actually, I kind of did cry in a meeting and I hope that my team didn't notice. I was really trying to just like hang up immediately because I just like couldn't stand it. I just can't do this anymore. I don't, I don't know. And then I would like cry when I talk to people about my job and about like how I feel just always stress and stuckness. And no way to get out from under it because of the pressure of the deadlines, right? Right. I'm so unhappy. I, I really think I should see a therapist or something. I really want to stop and... <sighs> I realized for the first time when I started creating content on YouTube, no matter how hard times get, no matter how none of my videos got over 200 views, how I was spending all my free time learning and practicing editing, how immature people from high school are making fun of my videos. I felt happy and I felt like what I was doing was meaningful. And that's when I realized, damn, is this what it feels like to be really passionate about something? And that I need the creative freedom to thrive and fully be myself just as I felt so stuck as I knew a career in financial services was not for me and that my content was not yet sufficient to fully support me financially, an opportunity arised and it almost seemed like a glowing hand trying to pull me up in a dark swamp. A leading brand in the creative tech industry had a program where half of the time the creator helps them promote their products and half the time the creators could work on their own projects with sponsored resources. This was like my golden ticket out. It seemed like the escape I was searching for all along out of a career I disliked so much. So after rounds and rounds of edits of a portfolio deck, introduction video, and rounds and rounds of group and one-on-one -on -one interviews, okay, I got this. Four interviews during this day, crazy. I received an Thank offer. You. We are interested in offering you a position as a 2022 or 2021 to 22 uh, creative resident. It felt like it was meant to be. It felt perfect until it wasn't. So the visa has to be like a result uh, has yeah, to be known by next Friday. That's fine. fine. I will like find a way to get to the border by next How, Friday. Uh, we don't sponsor visas for this program, and so we would not. We cannot have legal representation. Sorry for this, for this news. Unfortunately, we can't take Unfortunately, that and this is this is really hard for us too. Um, unfortunately, there's just not a way. Um, hope you have a, a good weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry you about too. That. Thank Bye, you. Darling. Bye. My lease is ending on May. Sex, which means if I get the residency, I will stay in LA, and if not, I'm just planning to head back to head Canada. Back to Canada. I got in, but didn't get in because of the visa, and that's okay. I thought, I thought I hated LA. I hated California because I felt really lonely here, and I felt like I didn't belong. When I know that I need to like part with it basically forever I don't know why I'm so sad Zoe turn around say hi my connection with my family is never going to be the same I just don't want this to be like the wrong choice to disappoint everyone like, i'm not hungry i don't need to eat this and i eat it i feel worse it's like i'm so full but then like i don't even know why i did that i needed
This is the end.